Death Acoustic by Nick Bellaberry, Court Starter and Caius, The Queen of the Stone Age, many other bands. This is him, just solo, doing all the guitar, all the bass, all the vocals. No drums on this record. But man, it's an aggressive acoustic <laughs> record, man. I think the last song he has another guitarist with him, but other than that, it's all him. Start a fight. It's by the, a band called Raw Power. But there's a lot of covers and a few originals. Yeah. Start off with some uh, blues with Professor Longhair. Really good record. I just got this recently. Awesome shape, too. And then how about some Wang Chung? Dance all day and all that. <laughs> Sun, Sunshine Superman, Donovan. I love this record. Probably my favorite Donovan album that isn't the greatest hit. Love this one. Yeah, it seems in the wig. Oh man, that's such a good song. Yeah. An axe with Nemesis, the follow up to Offering. Great album. It's not even close to Offering, though. Offering is better than all their others put together, in my opinion. But I like all of them. This is a good record. From uh, Record Station. Record Station. <laughs> Radio Station promo. Very cool. Man. You just think of Nick Oliveri as only a bass player, but he's a badass guitarist, too. This album isn't for kids, I'll just say that right away. Especially considering the last song is by DJ Allen. Anyone know it's will know. This is an original here. Invisible, like the sky. Tommy James and Sean Dell, the greatest hits. Kind of an early one. Only has a couple of their big hits. Hanky Panky and I think We're Alone Now is the big ones off it. For the greatest hits, that's odd. <laughs> I have a couple of another greatest hits that's much better. Well, that's cool. That's like early. Oh, man. The Beatles, an original. <laughs> yes, it is. Then when saw Robert Fifton's April 1st video, he was showing this passing it off as a butcher off. It's hilarious. So, so cool. <laughs> Cheers, everyone. Cheers. Hey, and man, <laughs> whenever I'm in a bad mood, I'm gonna show this on, and instantly I'm back. So good. Stick to your gun, screwed up, babe. One of my all-time favorites, of course. And then I listen to some Psycho Circus. Cool and particular cover. Underrated record. It's not as good as uh, like their 80s stuff, but it's got some good stuff on here, man. It's really good. As far as I'm concerned, that's the last great Kiss record. The other ones are good, but so that's the last great one. And then I finally got it. Fantastic sounding. Transnational Speedway League. Um, Anthem's Anecdotes and Undeniable Truth. The, the first full length clutch record. This is the uh, reissue. So finally, it's on vinyl officially. It sounds better than the official I have. So cool. Man, I'm still getting Mark is turning it off. F.A. Benjamin Perth. Rap. What were the dudes? So good. Like the sky. Invisible. Like the sky. Invisible. Like the sky. Yeah. <laughs> I love this acoustic record. I don't know any other acoustic record. It sounds quite like this Nick Oliveri Death Acoustic, man. Yeah. And then The Boogeyman. So good, love this. I remember listening to this all the time when it was first out, in the early 90s. Man, dancing on the grave. <laughs> and the Cosmic Continuum, awesome. Thank you so much, Josh. JC sent me that, for sure.
Dairy Queen. This is on my dwarves. There's two dwarves on it, and they're excellent. This is Dairy Queen. So cool. She was my Dairy Queen. My Dairy Queen. Yeah, well, I was just I was a machine a head. Classic album. Got three stretch on by them. Best. So wild and free. Just like a little pain of it. She was my Dairy Queen. My Dairy Queen. Right there. Yeah, well, in that way. No, we gotta fight. I love these two dwarves. I gotta find the dwarves right that these are on. I think they're on the same one. I'm not sure. The one on the other side is killer too. Going down on every guy in town, she was my Dairy Queen. She was my Dairy She was my Dairy Queen. The lips of the dual balloons by High Command. Ever listen to this? Love this band. One of the better, like thrash, death metal, whatever you want to call them, bands of the. Modern era, they're really good. High command's excellent. And I got me a, a better press, The Stranger in Town, Bob Seeger. One of my all time favorites. Love that record. Girls, girls, girls from Motley Crue. Underrated in their discography. Top five for me for Motley Crue. Easy. That might be my number four after the first two and um, the self-titled with John Karabi. That probably is my next. Two, three, six. Yeah, well, I have my own drum. <laughs> MSG, Assault Attack. Awesome guitar, Michael Shanker, of course. And then the great Leather Duchess, we're the great band. Can't wait for a new album by them. Their full albums are so cool. Gunslinger, their debut. So good. Modern day DT, I love it. And I gotta thank my buddy uh, George from Greece for uh, hooking me up with Medieval Death. What a great album. Man, it's just an EP and it's so good. Original 80s death metal, Greek death metal is killer. I love it. Thank you, George. Cheers to you. This song is a, oh, this is a, Some of you might recognize this. This song comes, Nick Oliver is on this album. It comes from this album here, uh, Songs for the Deaf. There's Nick Oliver there. Bradley Dave Grohl, Josh Homme, and Mark Lanigan. What a lineup. But this is a song, um, the hell's it called? I'm Gonna Leave You. It's called Gonna Leave You. That's what's throwing me up. Last song I typed me on this, Gonna Leave You. He can't help you, but I know that I could. He sounds good singing it too, Nick. Does. He sings some of the Queen's Sunday songs. He does, uh, you know this is God, what is it? I can't remember what one he does on this. He does like two or three on here. He's got a very unique voice, so. Oh, some Angry Machines from Dio. What a great album. Another one particular. I'm looking. Got a couple of them today. Underrated Dio record. This one's killer. Hunter of the Heart. Oh my god. Love this album. I stopped on your heart. This is the end. No more pictures. We ain't friends. It's raining in my room. There's blood on my room. Executioner in the name of metal. Now that's either a scary cover or a cheesy cover, but depending on who you are. <laughs> but pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, early '80s metal there. Restless and Wild, one of the best metal albums of all time here. One of the top two except records. This one balls the wall and right neck and neck for me. I love it. Fast with the Shark, Princess of the Dawn my favorite on here. Though I love that song. Every song is great. Finally 
somebody got me a play copy of uh, British Steel. I have it on vinyl. I've had it forever, but it's a steel copy, and an original steel, so I've always kept it sealed. Picked me up a really good, uh, nice play copy here. Awesome album, of course. Yeah. You know this is right home. Everything starts the skin for shit. Push it in. Break it out from the leaves. Get your wings from Aerosmith, one of their best records. And I love the early 70s Aerosmith stuff, my favorite by them. Everything up to like gems and draw the line. I like some of the stuff after, but that's my favorite era that and before. The Worldwide Life with Scorps. Haven't heard this in a little bit. Great album. The Black Sabbath, Volume 4. One of my favorite Aussie era. The only thing that throws the uh, lowers this for me is Changes. I just never liked that song. But the rest of the album is killer. Oh, man. Love is Pass Me By. Now, this. It's from this Caius record, Rex, their debut Caius. Man, Nick Oliver is in this, on this album too. He's on here somewhere, one of those guys. <laughs> but this is a killer record, but this is Love is Pressing by Caius song. Love it. All right, cheers, VC! Two other times, hotel, love time for you. He's on Don Garcia, but he still sounds pretty damn good. It's in Another lenticular. Victorious from Wolf Mother. There we go. <laughs> Very under I like these guys, Wolf Mother. I have a couple of their albums. They're good. I'm just a stone on my side. And all I see is you're walking away from me. Kiss. Another kiss. Pop in the Shade. One of my very favorites. Love this. Most underrated Kiss record right there. Love Hot in the Chase. I don't know why people don't like that record. I've never got that. I love that album. My future album from ZZ Top, a later day one. Pretty good record. I mean, it's not like the early stuff or Eliminator, but this is a damn good album. Stop 442 from Anthrax. One of my favorite Anthrax records. I said that about all these, but they all are. <laughs> but man, nothing. I saw nothing. Holy crap. America Pompeii, Riding Shot, Perpetual Motion. Every song fueled in a zone. Esther, Yeah. Do a little mellow uh, episode here today, but cheers, VC. From Nick Oliveri with Death Acoustic. This is a true solo album. He does everything on this. The bass player from Caius and Queens of the Stone Age. Holy time, another deal. Of course, one of my favorites ever, too. My top 10 of all time. Shut down, volume two from the Beach Boys. Love the Beach Boys. Yeah, this guy, Don't Worry Babies on here. It's one of my favorite. Fun, fun, fun. Hell yeah. More for the Not my favorite, but I like that. How about some, uh, Keep It Up from Loverboy? Probably my least favorite of the early ones, but it's still damn good. Hot Girls in Love was a big single from this one. Excuse me, see, I need to flip it into a beer. Up next, a Moist Boys song. <laughs> Yeah, you hear that right. Moist Boys. It's uh, two brothers with the last name of Moist. Donnie, and I can't remember the other guy. Something Moist. But this is killer. This is you blow. The beer is full of my beer today. Yeah. Gotta thank my buddy Josh again. 
the Klein and Western Solution, the Metal Gear. This is some key bands, but still really good. Two men have double record, including London and Odin and a couple other bands, but it's still really cool. They could have put a couple more songs by them too, but they should redo that with all that on there. That'd be a killer idea. Oh man. Moist Boys, I, I'm pretty sure they're a punk band. Go check out Ryan Kidd's channel if you want to find out. Or, or Ronald Ritchie, they'll know. I just know this from this. But it's killer. We got some marching out from Ingve Malmsteen with Mar uh, Rising Force. So good. Ingve rules. Love Ingve. Always love Ingve. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How about some, uh, Head Over Hills by Headpins. Now, the only Headpins I really love is their debut, Turn It Loud, one of my all-time favorite records. This here is good. Still good. Darby Mills is a great vocalist. Still really good Canadian hard metal, hard rock, heavy metal, whatever. <laughs> love this. Jack and Tommy talk about a record store. <laughs> now my buddy uh, Randy Nelson sent me this. This is uh, Bras by uh, Bad Sports. I heard this a while ago. Pretty good record. I've been listening to this quite a bit. Thank you, Randy. Good power pop stuff there. Love it. Cheers. I gotta move some of these records up. My track's getting too big. <laughs> up next, hopefully this doesn't get shut down for this next song. Josh, you're gonna love it. If it doesn't get shut down, if I don't have to pull it. Yeah, I'm really worried about this song getting blocked, this next one. <laughs> I missed that song, so you know. Try to sneak it by. <laughs> Lita! It's not my favorite album. I like the deep cuts on here the best. I'm so sick of Closer Hearts Forever. It gets me dead back. It's, for some reason, those songs just didn't age well to me, but the rest of this album is killer. Back to the Caves. Yeah! yeah. yeah. Voice Boys! With a V at the end, Moist Boys. Good, good, good. No. Voice of America, VOA, Sammy Hagar. I love this album. Great, great record. I can't drive 55, Thick in the Dirt, VOA. Rock is in my blood. That's so good. Burning Down the City, great album. Danzig, Circle of Snakes. What an odd coincidence this came on right now. <laughs> so, next song here is by Misfit Hybrid Moment. Hybrid Moment. From this album here, Static Age. Love this. And I love how Nick Oliveri sings this song, too. Man. I know he's not Glenn Danzig, but he kicks the song down, man. Horse Majeure from Doro Pesh. I'm probably my favorite female singer ever. Her and Sally Cato. Playing drums with no drums. <laughs> Whisper, Tames and Lion from Driving and Crying. Pretty good band from the late 80s, early 90s, whatever the hell this was. Cheers, Josh! Cheers, 
Jeff Witcher would love that one. That's Give right up his alley. Alright. I want some of Raxus. Santana. What a great band. Of course, Greg Rawley went to form Journey. The album after this one. Good stuff. Remember how that as a kid? My dad always liked Santana. Alright. Beer's going down good. <laughs> Next up is Unless I Can Kill. This is another original on here. There's not many originals, but there's a lot of stuff he's involved in. Too, so. This is Unless I Can Kill. Pretty good album. Precious Time from Pat Benatar. Yours has a fire and ice on it and uh, promises in the dark. She does the version of Helter Skelter. Not my favorite version, but it's still pretty cool she does it. <laughs> we'll drop it. And one of the most underrated ACDC records. Blow up your video. This album kicks ass, man. From the late 80s. I love this album. I remember when this came out. Heat Seeker. That's the way I want to rock and roll. That's killer. This means war. I wish Walmart would put that one as a reissue and flick of the switch and fly on the wall. Oh man. They did about nine of them, but they left a bunch of key ones out. Some of those are coming. Narita from Riot. Love Riot. Yeah. Okay, now this is that other dwarf song next after this. Easter Everywhere from 13 Floor Elevator. Great follow up to their debut. Rookie Erickson. Yeah, I'll pronounce it right. It's Rookie. <laughs> Cheers, BC. Okay, this is the other Dwarves song. Follow me. I love this song. Dwarves, man. They're. I need to get some dwarves on vinyl. Just, I love Dairy Queen and follow me. It's so good. Hey, you. What you gonna do? Now that high school is over and nobody cares at no clue. Hey, Fuck you. Out of. <laughs> what you Heavy Metal Maniac from Exciter. Great three piece of um, Canadian metal greatness. Yeah, now. For Canadian three pieces, they're my second favorite. Yeah, follow me, follow me, follow me. Hey, After Voivod. Where are you gonna go? Voivod and Exciter are my where I'm at for Canadian three piece metal. My buddy Kim Squire gave this give this album to me. It's got tablature, it's an instrumental album. Pretty cool album. The Atlas Underground by Tom Morello. Cool cover, too. Cheers, Ken! Follow me! Follow me! Follow me! I need some more beer, damn it. Good thing it's right there. <laughs> and Nick Oliveri, man. Denim and Nether from Saxon. Great early Saxon. This is probably right on the edge of my top five Saxon records. Love this one. Yeah, it's a good one. Power and the Glory and Crusader are my favorites, hands down though. Soldiers of the Night by Vicious Rumors. Remember they came uh, and played uh, Pocatello where I'm at one time. Back in the 80s, but I didn't get to see it. My friend Josh saw it. I'm pretty sure he went. GG oh. Allen. How about scum fuck? <laughs> they won't come to see me in this time. Everyone's afraid 
But what might happen to them? Or if they'll even get out of here alive? Some fuckhead in the corner is getting to me. Talking about the way I fuck his girl. Well, I guess he don't know that I'm the outlaw scumfuck. Someone better warn him before I knock him off his chair. Because everybody knows that I'm a scumfuck. This is a pretty cool compilation. And notice, all out metal assault. And look at the bands on it. Quiet Riot, Wing Strike, Zebra, Rush Deal, Helix, Protus, Armored Saint Lane Team, Scorpions. Yes, metal. Seriously, sick. The T.J. Allen song. I love this. Seriously. Everybody hates me. And I just don't feel care. Cause I can see all these songs. Can I still fuck all the costumes? <laughs> so hilarious. These lyrics. Countdown. Recension. Countdown. Recension. Love it. I know my buddy Jody does it, but I do. Last House Rock, great pin band. Love it. What happened to them? Corner getting to me. Then Lizzie, the rocker, yeah. Compilation of early Jim Lizzie, so good. <laughs> My other favorite female singer, Sally Cato, from Ascaladis, love this. Lose the red sun, Nick Oliveri's on this. There we go. Alright. Here's me saying, you never want to live, but oh well. I was in the mood for this, so I don't care. Bitches. And I still fuck all the prostitutes that I know. Slaughter in the Vatican, man. Porter. Animals, this is volume two, so good. Sky pilot on this? Hey Jim, oh this volume, yeah. Harry Burton and the Animals, part two, so there's three of them. CJ is it. Praise the Lord. You are in hell. Man of Hills and uh, Man of War. What a great album. It's got the title song on this. Oh, he speeds us up. He brings it back down. Excuse me, say. What comes around goes around from Tough. One of my favorite albums ever. I love this album. Thank you so much, Josh. This city sends me a lot of records. Cheers. Josh, Rogue Mel, Autograph, so cool. Great album. Not my favorite cover in the world, but the album's killer. Will I happen to them? 
Stop water. Thanks, buddy. All right. See you next time, VC.